Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I am bringing you a Funko news video on the Funko San Diego Comic Con exclusive edition video. Now this is going to be all about the Funko limited editions that are coming out over the San Diego Comic Con weekend. We've had a few announcements for some few different types of pops. So I'm going to run through now every single announcement we've had so far. We're probably not even halfway through the announcements being coming out, but I will make part two, three, if necessary, of this video. So let's waste no time and let's get straight into it. First up, we have Black Lady. She's from the Sailor Moon TV series. And um, she's a really nice, cool-looking character. I mean, I love that pink hair flowing down the side of her there. And uh, my girlfriend does collect these Sailor Moon pops. She has them all, so I imagine this is one that I will have to pick up for her, or she'll pick up herself in the future. This is a really cool, nice-looking pop. I don't know much about the character, and um, I'm sure she'll moan at me for that later. But that's a really, really nice-looking pop. And, I mean, if it's, if it's a big character from the TV show, then I'm glad that she's out in the way for the collectors of that particular show. Then, guys, we have a Dragon Ball Z pop. We have Dead Yamcha. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not too familiar on these anime sort of style pops, but it's a, a really nice, cool-looking pop. They, they're doing those laying down pops more and more often now. And obviously, I take it that he dies in Dragon Ball Z because here's a dead version of the character himself, which I think is the first dead version of anything in a pop apart from Ghost ones, which is really cool. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, that's that one for you. And I've got two more Dragon Ball Z ones to show you now. Then, guys, we have the Super Saiyan Bruli. Now, this is a cool-looking pop as well. I like this. Uh, I like the eye on his waistband as well. That looks really nice. Really big green eyes with that blonde hair. Again, I'm not into Dragon Ball Z pops, but this is just to show you all the stuff that's come out. So here's another Dragon Ball Z pop that, if you're a fan, to be expecting. Guys, then we are getting this Super Saiyan Vegeta pop, and this is one that is exclusive to Toy Tokyo. Now, I think that is a store based in New York and in the new US. So um, this is exclusive there. It's a really nice. I love the gold. That the shiny, like chromey gold is really, really nice. I really do like that. Looks really cool pop. But that is exclusive to Toy Tokyo, guys. So that's another really cool looking pop as well. Then we also have here this Tana Pop, I think I'm saying that right, that's another Toy Tokyo exclusive and that is from an anime show I believe called Heavy Metal, I'm not too sure again with these shows but I just thought I'd let you guys know that that's, that is the last anime pop and they're the last ones available at Comic Con. Then guys onto something I know a little bit more about, we've got a Stormtrooper exclusive here from the Star Wars the um, solo story and uh, I have made another video on Star Wars pops that have come out because they've announced some Clone Wars pops as well. That will be out after this and I'll talk more in detail about the Stormtrooper here. That's a really nice cool pop. And then guys we've got the Cad Bane pop. Now this is one that I've had on my wish list for a very long time. As a Star Wars Clone Wars fan this is one of my favourite characters, one of my favourite bounty hunters in Star Wars. Again, I do go into it a bit more in detail in my other video, which will be out shortly after this video, probably the next day. So uh, check that video out, guys, and know more about this pop. Then moving on to DC stuff, guys, we've got this Teen Titans Go Killer Moth exclusive. And I love the packaging on this box, the cartoony um, colours and things. I'm not familiar with this character or this TV show, but that looks like a big pop. That's a really nice looking pop as well. I love all the colour details and the variant. Uh, colours and the outfit on it and he's holding that tiny little muff as well there uh, so if you're familiar with the Teen Titans and you collect those pops this is a great one for your collection and it's a really really nice piece then guys from sticking with the DC theme we have Red Hood now this is a really cool looking character I love the obviously the red colour they've used for his hood there that goes over his head that's really really nice and I guarantee a lot of DC collectors will want to get their hands on this DC Red Hood pop it's a fantastic figure and it looks to be one of the DC's better pops of this um, convention. Then we're getting this different variant of Flash. Looks like his legs are sort of um, turned invisible or something there, maybe when he's running really fast. I'm not too sure, not familiar with the Flash character. But this is for Flash from the Justice League film. It's another um, Comic-Con exclusive for DC there. And then we seem to be getting this free pack of chrome versions of Flash. We're getting the gold one, a red one, and a silver one. These look really cool. I like chrome pops. I haven't got any personally myself in my collection. I'm not a big enough fan of Flash himself to pick these up. But that's a really cool conventions exclusive from the Justice League movie there. I'm sure that will be quite expensive to pick up. But well worth it in the end if you're a DC collector. And then lastly guys we are getting this James Wan 
uh, director pop. He is a director of the new Aquaman film coming out. And yes, I know what you're thinking. I didn't know who he was either. I looked him up and he's directed one of the Saw films, The Conjuring, and lots of horror-based films. So if you're a horror fan, he is the guy that's probably directed 90% of the films that you're a fan of. So check him out as well. Be like the James Gunn one that came out last year. Probably going to be impossible to get, but I'm hoping they give us more chance to get that James Gunn one because I would have really liked that much more than this one. But if you're a fan of horror films or Aquaman, this is the guy you want. And hopefully this opens the door for new director pops to come. So guys, that is the San Diego Comic Con pops announced so far. I mean, we are going to get tons more and stay tuned to this channel and I will bring you all the pictures and all the information I can do on these Funko Pops. Now bear in mind, lots of these Pops in this section I don't actually collect and enjoy myself, but I'm going to show you guys them anyway. I don't have a lot to say about some of the Pops because I'm not too sure about the characters, but some of them are cool. Those Star Wars ones, I'm definitely going to be picking both of those up for sure. And I have got a Star Wars video on its way, it's coming out, and I'm going to show you the Clone Wars Pops in that as well. So stay tuned to my channel guys, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of all the pops that have been released, which ones your favourite are and which ones you're definitely going to pick up. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, links in the description below guys, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you stay alert for everything San Diego Comic Con and I'll see you next time, bye bye.